What is up everyone? So time for part two of this Evolving Skies booster box. This recording, or at least these videos, shouldn't be too far apart, but I did record the first part uh, probably almost like two weeks ago by now, at least at the, time, at the time of this recording. So this booster box has been waiting for me to finish it off. And let's get started. As a quick, actually, recap, in case you did not catch part one, these were our two biggest hits so far, the Golden Teleon and Jolteon VMAX. And then another interesting thing about this box, and I believe we are about, uh, gosh, I'm trying to remember, I think we were 15, about 15 packs in. But something else that was interesting about this box is that we are not getting reverse hollows. For some reason, reverse hollows are becoming as rare as a VMAX or an ultra rare in this uh, box for some reason. But let's go Rehan. I thought I said Rihanna for a sec. <laughs> Rehan. All right, cutie fly. But how's everyone doing? Pikachu, hopefully you're having a nice day whenever you're watching this. Ooh, El Emolga. I have not opened up. Oh, yep, that's supposed to, that was supposed to be the reverse hollow. Okay, again, we are continue with our reverse hollow drought. Again, it seems to be that it's maybe every other pack or maybe every two packs is what has a reverse hollow in it. And we will move a little faster since I'm going to try getting through the rest of the box today. We'll see if we can get through it. I, I am trying to enjoy the artwork. I have not opened up Evolving Skies. Ooh, very cool lantern. Who's the artist? Very cool. Um, yeah, just haven't been able to open up a ton of packs lately. You know, just life happens. Pretty busy. Um, ooh, ooh, very nice. Homage, I know you wanted this reverse hollow Drampa. Might have to send this your way if you haven't pulled this already. But very nice reverse hollow Drampa. I love this artwork. Such a cool card by Komiya. And Appleton, <laughs> very nice. We will set you to the side over here because that you were just too cool you are too cool for school my friend um i wasn't even talking about being busy or something something like that we're all busy aren't we all busy or at least we all think we're busy because i remember you know being a single college student and thinking i had no time i was so busy and whatnot and then i was a married college student i'm like man now i really have no time and then I was a full-time working married man with, oh, no reverse hollow, with one kid. I'm like, now I have no time. Now I am full-time married, two kids, doing stuff on the side. <laughs> it's, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I would not, I would not trade my wife and kids for anything. But if I go back, like just jump back to that time, I would be like, Uli, you have a lot more time than you realize. <laughs> Get to work. Like you, yeah. Just funny. Perspective, right? Perspective is 2020. There, there we go. There's a reverse hollow. Ooh, and a nice Galarian Moltres hollow. Very cool looking card. Very cool artwork. We will also set you to the side. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you all can hear it or not. I don't think so, because it's it's not too loud. Like, I can hear it from here just fine. But I do have the laundry, um, the washing machine, and the dryer going right now. So, like, again, it's not too loud, but I can, I, I can hear it. So I don't know if you can hear that in the background. If you can, my bad. Hopefully it's not too distracting. I, I guess going along with being busy. Cool, drowsy. Uh, my wife. Ooh, Rayquaza V. Let's go. All right. That is very nice. We'll put you here. And don't worry for all you people who are like, sleeve it up. We will sleeve it up at the end. Don't worry. I, I take care of my cards. But yeah, my wife and my two girls went off with some friends to go to a, a pumpkin patch with their girls. And so I'm like, huh, I got the house to myself for like two hours. Let's open up some Pokemon cards. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm opening up Pokemon cards, but also trying to do some laundry. 
I'm going to make sure I have dinner ready for them when they come back. That way they can, they can just come back, especially for my wife, you know, uh, you know, hanging around two kids or taking care of ooh, grandpa, taking care of the kids, being out and about, you know, that can be exhausting. So I want to make sure that dinner's all ready. Uh, going to wash some dishes, just try and make sure that some things are taken care of while I have the house all quietly to myself. SQ, honestly, this SQ car just makes me laugh. Just riding on the top of the the other SQ's head. Cutie Fly, Pikachu, Applin, Scrafty Reverse Halloween. Another Drampa. All right. It is. This is definitely a good Drampa box. Which I think the Japanese version of that card. There was something a little more unique on how you got it. I don't remember if it was actually in a set like Evolve. No, it was not part of Evolving Skies or Sky Scra I don't remember the Japanese set's names. But I think there was like a promo, some kind of promotion. I think that's how you got that card. So I guess a little more unique in Japanese. Ooh, Glaceon V, let's go. Okay, all right, we're getting some more hits, some more bigger hits as we go along on part two of this booster box opening. Not bad so far, not bad. I was getting a little worried, you know, with our first, you know, part one of this video or part one of this opening that we weren't going to have uh, many big hits, but we've had we've had some good hits, some good pulls so far. Nice bravery card. And you know, we we try not to complain when we don't get the hits that we want. We try to have too big of expectations. Nice hollow, put you to the side. Um but it is nice, you know, to purchase something for, you know, I think I got these on pre-order for like 120 to pay, you know, $120 and, you know, get, get a little some something. Saring, CDOT, Slack Off. And no reverse hollow. <laughs> Although I will say I would like my reverse hollows. I'd very much like to get more reverse hollows in this box. And you know, today during work, I don't even know what started this. Just randomly, I decided to listen to uh, the OG Pokemon theme song. And man, that song still just, it's such a good song. <laughs> it just, it just, it still just makes me like all get me all pumped up. Ampharos. And then I decided to listen to all the other theme songs of all of the the whole series. Oh, and I just dropped some cards. Oops. Might need to adjust a few things in a sec. Um, but yeah, it was just really cool to listen to. A lot, a lot of those theme songs I never, I haven't, I hadn't heard before, because I just wasn't around in the hobby or even just listening. Nice, flappy are watching the series. But yeah, lots of cool. Ooh, Dialga, very nice, hollow. But yeah, lots of cool theme songs over the years. But man, just that OG song. There's nothing quite like that OG song. Not even gonna lie. And also really like, because uh, I've been watching Journeys with my daughter. Man, Journey's theme song also is just pretty awesome. Oh man, I was totally random. Nothing, not related to anything I, was, I had just said. Talon Flame, very nice. Very cool. But this was just remind. I was just thinking about this or reminded of this as I continue to hear the laundry, the laundry machine, the washing machine going. You know what's been interesting to me? It just seems like recently, I don't know why, just sometimes I guess this is just how life works. I've had various, you know, friends and even my own wife talking about how, I guess, how rare it is 
for husbands to help around the house or help with the children, like doing laundry, cooking dinner, doing dishes, getting children in the middle of the night. Ooh, Galarian Zap Dills Reverse Hollow. Very nice. And a Gar Gobrador V. Very, man, he's got some HP. Look at that. Dang. Might need to look into a Garbador uh, deck. Very nice. But yeah, just how rare that is. Like, I, I remember my mother in law talking about, like, just how that. Yeah, I guess, I guess the what I said already. It's, it's apparently, apparent, I'm saying apparently, because to me, this is normal. That's kind of more I'm getting at. It's like people talking about how, yeah, their husbands don't help with chores, their husbands don't do this, don't get kids in the middle of the night. I'm like, why not? Like, to me, it's completely normal. Like, I don't see myself as like, oh, yeah, look at me. I'm a, I'm a wonderful husband. It's like, no, that's just kind of what you do. And I don't know if, if it's because I grew up, you know, with immigrant parents who made us work, who de I don't know, shouldn't say made us work, but definitely, you know, making sure that we were cleaning and doing our part and having chores and doing dishes and whatnot. And maybe because I came from a big family, Slack King, I think we got the reverse all over this. But it just, it's so normal to me to just help around the house. Like, why wouldn't you help around the house? Don't you live there too? <laughs> like, aren't they your kids as well? Like, why would you not get a crying child in the middle of the night? Like, maybe but I can understand, you know, maybe you and your wife have an arrangement. And it's like, you know, I work at four in the morning. So I need you to get the, you know, get up the child if they're, you know, they're screaming because I need to wake up, you know, early. But, unless, but other than that, it's like, even if you wake up at six for work, you can get up every now and again to help with a screaming child. You can do dishes. You can, I don't care if you're working 60, 60 hours a week. Like, and I'm, I guess I'm talking more specifically, specifically to the men, to the husbands that are future husbands. Like, if you want a better marriage, then make sure, ooh, very cool make sure you are helping around the house like again don't have some kind of an, some kind of entitlement mentality where you think no that's the wife's job that's her job i don't do that like no screw that it's your house you take care of it you help take care of it yeah like you can balance each other out like you can help each other out like maybe you know she prefers to do dishes and you prefer to do laundry or vice versa or whatever the case may be but you better be helping take care of your own place. Because if you don't, that is definitely a sign of entitlement. And that will definitely put a strain on your marriage. So, yeah. This is a cool seismitoad card. But yeah, I will get off my soapbox on that. It just... Again, it, it just surprises me, is all. And maybe... I, I, my, my wife was praising me the other day for whatever. We've been married for six years. It's not like I... I have, it's not like this is something new. It's something I've done from the beginning. But I think it's more so because of as we go on, as we get older, we start seeing, you know, more people talking or complaining about how they wished or expressing their frustration, how they wished their husbands, you know, helped out with laundry, helped out with their children. And so... But yeah, she she was kind of praising me for it. And I was like, I thank my mother. <laughs> like, I, yeah, like yeah, I, I help out. But thank my mom. Like, she, my mom was the one who showed me how to do that. She expected it from me, and so I just it's ingrained in me to just help. Like it, again, it's. <laughs> and I feel like I'm just being a dead horse here, but if you live. If they're your children and you and you live in that house, you should be helping out. Helping out, you should be. I, again, I don't care if your wife is a full time mom, and you work sixty hours a week. You still live there. You should help out. Okay, that's it. Let's move on to a different subject. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm as you can tell though I am a little passionate about this. Ooh, and we got the reverse hollow. Nice. And a Lilligant. 
But yeah, maybe because I have five sisters, I just... Man, just... I, I really just dislike entitlements. I dislike entitlements. I dislike any form of women being mistreated. Again, maybe because I grew up with five sisters and I have like nine nieces. I, I lost count. I have like nine nieces. I have two daughters. I love my wife. I love my mom. I love my grandma. Like, I, I just, yeah. Plus life, again, life is just better when you take responsibility for things that you are a part of. Like, again, if it's your house, you help take care of it. You don't just expect your wife to take care of it. You don't just expect someone else to do it for you. Okay, come down to last four packs. And again, just as a little maybe incentive, although again, I think you should do this no matter what. Don't let this be the motivation or the only motivation or having the expectation that if you clean that something good is going to happen. But I will say, if you do help take care of the house and the children, you will become more attractive to your wife. Like, it, yeah, that's all I'll say. Because, <laughs> ooh, very co cool Marshadow. Hollow, let's actually put you right there. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I mean, I've probably been talking about the subject for like 10 minutes. I don't even know how long. So I will end it with that. And moving on to our last few packs. Lucky. Lucky Ice Pop. All right. I don't know. Just make throwing me back to the 90s. Whoa, got some dirt or something. Uh, some ink right there. Does that count as a as an error card? Can I throw it in as a throw that to PSA? Then sell it for two hundred dollars. Just kidding. Noivern V. <gasps> Very cool card. I've actually really want the Noivern um, V alternate art. That one looks so cool. But yeah, we are this. Part two of this pack opening. That's almost how I feel a little light. But part two is pack opening. It's going a whole lot better than part one. Although we did pull that gold Inteleon, and that is a sweet card. I'm actually become a huge fan of Inteleon. I've been playing the uh the actual TCG lately, the uh, online. And man, Inteleon just been working so well for me <laughs> in the deck that I'm I've been using. So yeah, I'm a fan of Inteleon. Militic, Reverse Hollow, Rare, and Appleton. All right, last pack. And with some last pack magic. Although we are already very happy with our pulls. But we won't mind if there's another card in here that'll, you know, be a little extra special. Here we go. Hypno, Vigoroth. Lombre, Lotad, Amolga, Wubat, Gossifleur, Feebas, Zaru, and ooh, Ente. Very nice, Hollow Ente. That is a very cool card. We are happy with that. That, that is some last pack magic for me. Very nice. And that is the booster box. The strangest booster box I've ever had in that. I think half the packs, if not more, did not have reverse hollows. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. But that is our first Evolving Skies booster boxes. Our booster box. We will see if we can get our hands on some more at a reasonable price. Because right now they're selling for like $180. i am not going to pay $180 for an Evolving Skies booster box. I will be patient. I'll wait for it to come back down to $140, $130, probably $120 to be honest. Because they are probably going to print plenty of Evolving Skies. Uh, booster boxes. So that's all I got for today, guys. Hopefully, you have a fantastic day, night, or whenever you're watching this. I'll catch y'all later.